Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the 4-inch Fortnite ATK RC vehicle. I picked this up last summer and somehow I missed reviewing it. So, let's get it open and review it. If you are new to the channel, welcome and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your Epic account. It's McDowan. What you see is what you get. A remote control, an ATK, a user guide, a figure, harvesting tool, and an accessory golf bag. And we'll take a look at each of these here real quick. The accessory that you can put on the ATK if you'd like to is this golf bag. There's a hole. You can put some harvesting tools in here. Um, there's maybe one or two if you can. I've heard rumors that somewhere out in the world there is a blue version of this. So if you see it, let me know if you've got it. That would be really cool to find the blue version of this golf bag. Also included is the power punch harvesting tool. It's got this robotic arm shoved on a looks like a piece of rebarb and but yeah and you go whack whack and you can punch someone and use your fist on them with this without hurting your own fist. Then we come to Copper Wasp himself. He is an epic skin. He's part of the Kata tech set. He was released in Chapter 1 Season 9 and you can buy him from the in-game store whenever he's available for 1500 V-Bucks. This figure I think looks really cool. I love the blue colors and the bit of shiny silver here. Unfortunately, the only small problem that I immediately know about before actually you know, bending this figure around is the hands, or are the hands. This, uh, as I've mentioned in a previous video, the factory that makes the RC cars also makes these figures, which is a different factory that makes the actual Solo and all the other figures we get. Because of that, for some reason, their their fingers are a little gummy. Actually, his don't feel, feel nearly as bad as Hybrid or Drift. In fact, they've gotten increasingly better, I think, at this. So, yeah, they're a little gummy, but you know what? He can still hold stuff. Let's put this here in his hand. Now the harvesting tools may be a little bit more difficult for him to hang on to because there is a bit of a heft, a weight at the top of them. So he may drop this one pretty easy. Let's see, I have a gun here somewhere. I'm going to throw and bump stuff around here. Here's a gun we can put in his hand. So something like a rocket launcher might be difficult for this figure. Put this gun in there and he's not dropping it. So if you put small guns, little guns, light guns in his hand, It'll do just fine. Unfortunately, the harvesting tools are a little bit heavy. Um, so you're going to have some difficulties there. If you want to pose him and do something maybe like this, then you could probably get away with it. You might actually... Let's see. You, you might be able to get away with it. It's I don't know. It's difficult. They are heavy, and that's the unfortunate thing about this otherwise the figure does look really cool now I don't know if I'm not recommending this I haven't tried it but I wonder if heating up the hands with hot water and if it's just the right or wrong type of material I don't know but anyway, let's take a peek here at his articulation his head rotates all the way around and moves back and forth his shoulders rotate small hindrance with the uh, sleeves of his outfit there you can put his arms up about that high He's got the hinge and the rotation at the elbow, hinge and rotation at the way, uh, waist, wrist. He can bump his ab crunch around. He has a waist articulation. He can go about that far with splits, which is really good. He's like a ninja robot after all. His thighs rotate. He has double pin at the knee and then a hinge and ball joint or ball joint for hinge and rotation at the ankle. Now, unfortunately for a lot of people, this may be a bad thing. And that is, he does not go anywhere near 90 degrees on either arm. That's about what you're looking at there. So, you would think a ninja martial art related action figure would have a lot more posability. Unfortunately... His arms are a little bit lacking there. So that would be probably a little bit of a negative. You can still get him into some cool poses. But uh, yeah, if, if that bothers you, then this is going to bother you. So anyway, that is Copper Wasp. So now, let's take a look at the ATK.
I liked the original ATK that Jazzwares put out a while back that came with the Drift action figure, and I like this one too. Why? Well, because it's identical except for the color scheme. This has the Stinger wrap. You can tell from the blues and the kind of the bronze. It's not really gold, but I think it's more of a bronze. You can tell that that's what this is. It does come with batteries. It's kind of cool. There's a little llama head right there. But anyway, it does come with batteries. I highly recommend, though, before you do any serious playing with it, that you swap out the batteries. The ATK itself needs three AAA, or three AA. The controller needs two AAA. So if you want to get some better performance, that's what I discovered with the first ATK, was that it didn't seem to go super fast, but as soon as I put in my batteries... Man, that sucker took off. It was good. I was able to drive it on carpet and grass pretty well. So yeah, swap out batteries. Um, it does. It is in demo mode. Has some lights down here that are hard to see. Makes some noise. But there is a arrow there. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could take this off. This is most likely there simply for stores. You know, it's in the display. It says. It's pointing here, push this, boom, and you push it. So if you want to get it out of demo mode, we flip it upside down, and there is a button here. It's in try me mode. You could turn it off, or you could turn it on. The on is kind of fun. You know, as you move it, maybe it has to be the controller. I know the quad crasher would make some noise. So it looks like you're gonna have to actually uh, run it on the controller. You've got this. This um, crate uh, changes the centering of these front wheels, so you only need to worry about that if, when you're going straight, you veer off. Now, a few pieces here are removable. You can take the shifter that's here. That can pop out if you so wanted to, for whatever reason. The roof is removable just pops off so I'd highly recommend you don't grab it from the top and lift it because this could pop right off it's got a couple little cool uh, danglies there a tomato head and a beef boss also this back end can come off if you wanted to the flag can actually then also separate so there are pieces that separate even if they're not necessarily supposed to these pieces can come off right here. We're just going to strip this car down, this golf cart down. So those pieces can come off, and you could easily put figures sitting here instead of, well, standing here because there's a couple pegs on those platforms. The old ATK, this whole frame could come off, and I'm not getting this frame to come off. So I don't know if they glued it or what, but anyway, this the rest of this won't come off. That's pretty much all you can remove that's how much you can strip this vehicle down but yeah i like it i think this is a fun rc car a fun rc vehicle and i like the look of it too um i even like it in game i've uh, was able to play it a few times i've never played it in the primary um game that most people play the battle royale or whatever anyway the the typical one where you go solo squads or whatever duos but i do like this in the few times i've gotten to play it in other modes so very cool very neat i'm not going to attempt to drive it around here i mean i could the controller here you have the on off i could try to drive it i could try to break it and yeah so the controller is up and down or forward and back and left and right so it moves around pretty good. So yeah. As you can see, it works quite well and is very noisy. It'd be kind of neat if you could turn off the sound effects but leave the vehicle on itself. Now I'm going to take it out and into a parking lot and do some B-roll footage that I will insert here.
I'm paying attention to this one, not this one, just so you know. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for stopping by and watching. What do you think about this figure and or this vehicle? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And on your way out, before you actually leave, click on one of these other really cool videos that I've got popped up here for you to take a look at and pass the time with. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.